hello everyone in this video we have to get input and then submit this input value so we have to create graphical user interface uh, using qt framework uh, so first of all i will create a new project and then i will choose qt widgets application and then i will press choose button and now i have to choose a title for this project and title is gui for this project and you can use any name and now i will work with qmake you have further more options like uh, qbs and cmake and now this is class information like which is our main class and which is our base class and so which is our header file and source file and now i will press next button again and in next video we can choose a file for translation but i will press next again and now i have to choose a kit and now i can choose here main gw64 bit you can choose any kit and now i will press this next button again and now i will press finish button now i am inside our project and this is our main dot cpp file and you can see this is our main function and we are inside our main function and we have also some projects here and our current project is gui we have to work with gui project so this is open and other projects are closed now i have to add some widgets in our applic application in this qt and so i will press here main window dot ui this is our user interface you can see here and now i have to add uh, some labels and line edit and a push button so i will search here uh, our label first of all and here you can filter uh, which widget you want to add and i will add first of all label this is label i have to drag this and insert into our user interface window and this is our label and i will choose an other label uh, because i have to use two labels in this project and then i will add line edit widget so i will search here and filter bar and this is our line edit widget that we will include in our application and here you can see line edit widget uh, so i will drag and insert into this user interface window and then i have to add another widget uh, sorry line edit widget now i have to combine this label and line edit widget so i will select both of them and then i will press this horizontally layout button and they are combined and now i have to combine next two widgets uh, one is label and other is line edit and then i will press uh, this horizontally layout button and now i have to add a push button and uh, i will choose from this widget list and this is our push button i will drag and drop into uh, this main window uh, user interface window and now i will enter name in this line edit bars and then i will push button and uh, this value will be submitted after this pushing button and first of all i have to change titles of these widgets and, and here you can see this is our xml file and the code of this uh, text label and uh, push button and other line edit is uh, created in this xml file and here you can see a code of these buttons and uh, label and other line edit and this is push button and other was a label uh, so now we have to work with main window dot cpp so i will open this main window dot cpp file and in this file i have to uh, create c plus plus code to change a uh, name of label and name of push button so i will use here ui uh, and next line here i will go to next line by pressing enter key and now i will use ui and arrow this is our pointer that is pointing to our label label one this is our label one and now i have to apply a function and function is set text 
so i will use pointer and then set text function and now i have to uh, choose text for our level one and i will choose your name for level one and then i will use semicolon and on next line i will use ui again and then uh, this arrow and next i will choose line uh, sorry level two and now i will apply set text function again uh, for this level two and our set text will change text of level and then i will choose here set text and now i will set text father name uh, this will be applied on level two father name and then semicolon and now i will explain again uh, this is our label and we have set this your name string on level one and then father name for level two and now i have to uh, change name of push button uh, so i will use again ui and arrow and then i will choose push button from this list and now i will apply function set text on this push button and set text i will set here uh, text submit okay this button will be submit button and this is submit string sorry not string this is submit text uh, for push button and now i will run this uh, application and after building this application you will see output in user interface window and after building you will wait for some time and now building process is completed and this is our output here you can see this is your name label and this is our line edit and the next father name and submit button uh, we have changed values of label and push button and i will close this by pressing cross button and now i have to fire a event on pressing push button when we will press push button then uh, our name and father name will be submitted and so i will use here connect and this is our connect i will choose it from list and now i will uh, use here a ui and our arrow sign and then i will select push button this is our object that will send signal by pressing it and then other is our signal that will be sent by pressing this push button and so i will use here a pointer and our q push button and then here i will select our signal that is collected and now i will explain it again for better understanding this collect is our signal that will be sent by pressing push button push button is our object that uh, send signal and signal is clicked uh, you can use any other signal but here we have to use this clicked signal that is member of this q push button okay and now i will uh, use this pointer that will point to target object and our target object is a member of window main window class okay and so i will use here reference pointer that will create a pointer to our target object okay and now i will use here main window sorry main window our class is main window and we will create a function in this main window okay and what will be name of uh, this function you can choose any name and so first of all i will go to uh, inside headers uh, file headers folder and then i will select this main window dot h and here i have to include some header files the first header file i will include with sharp include and header file is our q line edit okay this is our first header file and i will select it and now i have again use sharp include for including other other header file and other header file is q push button okay and after select it now i will create or declare a function in private slot and i will define void type it means it will not return any value and function name i can use any name but i will here use function submit you can use any name instead of function submit and this is our function i declared in 
main window dot at file and now i am back inside main window dot cpp there i have to use uh, that our function and so i will use here main window and our member function uh, that is fun submit okay and now inside this function i have to get value that is entered in line edit widget okay uh, and so i will uh, use a q string and then i will declare a variable for this q string and variable name i will use name you can use any variable name but i am using here name and i will now get uh, value using ui and this arrow and now i have to get from level one uh, sorry line edit one uh, okay and now i have to use a function that is text because we have to get text from line edit and then i will assign this value to this name variable and this is for uh, your name and then i will get father name value so i will use here again q string and now i will uh, declare a variable and variable is name two okay you can use here father name and ui then arrow and now i will select line edit two and then i will apply text uh, function that will get text from the line edit two widget and now i have to uh, display these values and then i have to display a string that is submitted so for this purpose i have to include with sharp include q widget sorry q debug this is our header file that is included and now i will use function from this uh, header file and the function is q debug function okay this is function and we have to pass a string to this function and first of all i will type a string uh, using double pair of commas and our string is a name and after space i will assign here name variable okay and value that is inserted into line edit will be displayed and now i will uh, type here string and father name sorry and father name and i will use here uh, space uh, sorry i will assign here name to and now i will use here semicolon and i should use here colon and space after father name and here i will assign name variable and now i will run again this application and uh, it will some time for building this application and we have to wait for small time and after building this application we can see here uh, error and what is error uh, we did not define return type of this function that is void and now also i have an error on this 15 number line and here i have to declare fun sub okay and now i will compile sorry run it again and here you can see this is our fun submit function from our main window class and so i will run it again and uh, now if we have no any kind of error then it will be displayed and you can see this is our output here i will enter name and i will enter here malik okay you can enter any value but i have to enter malik and now for the name i will uh, enter ahmed and then i will press this submit button and you can see here in console name malik and father name malik i have some problem with my code and what is problem uh, yes this is problem in assigning value okay here i have to assign name two and after i will pass here an other string that is submitted okay and i entered dot submitted okay and now we will compile it again and after some time uh, we can see our output and this is our output okay now i have to enter name again and i will enter malik again and now i will enter father name ahmed 
and after it i will press submit button and now you can see here this name string and malik and and then the uh, father name is ahmed and next it's submitted and this was our uh, widget application to create user interface using a label line edit and push button that was used to submit value uh, given in line edit i hope this video will be very helpful for you and it will be also easy to understand if you liked this video please share with your friends and subscribe our youtube channel